Hi, this is Lance from Lighting Chain. This is our fifth video on Lighting Smith Evaluations. So our first video kind of laid out why evals are important and interesting. Our second video we laid out kind of the core Lighting Smith primitives that we're gonna be working with. We just talked through two, two important concepts. So building a data set from like a set of manually curated, in our case, question answer pairs. Um, we built a data set based on this blog post about the new Databricks model. And I basically manually built a number of question answer pairs from that blog post. I add them to my own data set. That data set then was called DBRX, and I used the SDK to create it. So that's really it. I also showed how to build a data set from user logs, which is really useful for, you know, if you want to take a bunch of actual user data, like user questions, um, and convert them into like a data set with ground truth responses for future testing. So that's another, you know, really useful and common technique for data set building. <laughs> so now let's get into uh, evaluation. So here's a question. I build my data set. How do I actually evaluate my LM against it? So in the second video, we talked about this information flow, but I'll just reiterate it briefly. So we have a data set. The data set has examples. In my case, the data set has input output pairs, question answer. What I'm going to do is I may have an app and we'll see that shortly. I have like a little example app. Um, that app sees an input from my data set, it produces an output. I also have the ground truth output in the data set. I pass the user or the, the ground truth output and the app output to an evaluator and it'll perform some evaluation and return a score. That's it. Now here's where it gets a bit interesting. The world of evaluators is, is actually pretty broad and we, we've actually touched on this in a few other uh, videos. So there's custom evaluators, there's built-in evaluators. Within built-in evaluators, there's evaluators for labels or not labels. In my particular case, I have labels and I want to use a built-in language with evaluator. So we have a bunch of them listed here and I also can go over and show you. So off the shelf line, line chain evaluators is, is like a really uh, nice way to go. Um, so you don't have to kind of re-implement something from scratch for question answering. Again, my data set is question answer pairs. So on an evaluator that operates on question answer pairs, right? Here's a few different ones that are popular, QA, context QA, COT QA. The high level point is this. COT, COT QA is often um, a very nice evaluator um, because it'll use chain of thought reasoning um, to basically look at the LLM generate answer versus the ground truth and to evaluate whether or not uh, they they match. Um, and so typically in for the greater LLM, you use like a, a very powerful model, like maybe Claude Opus, or you might use you know OpenAI, uh, GPT-4, for example. But that's the high level idea. You're using chain of thought reasoning to determine the final verdict. So let's actually just walk through what's going on here. I'm gonna pick that COTQA as my evaluator. Remember I built my data set DBRX? Let's actually go over and have a quick look at that. So if I go over to my Lagsmith, um, I'm gonna go data sets and testing, DBRX, search for it. Here it is. I have my data set. I've done no evaluations against it. It has four examples. So this is kind of where I am currently. <laughs> now, that's my data set name. Remember I built this function answer Databricks questions. So I define that up here just using OpenAI, very simple. Um, I'm plumbing in my data set name. I'm plumbing my evaluator. I'm adding a little prefix, like this is test QA, open AI. And I'm also adding some metadata, metadata, like I'm, you know, website context into, into you know, GP35 Turbo. So anyway, that's all that's going on here. And this evaluate is all I need. So I kick this off. And this will kick off an evaluation. So again, think about what's happening. Look at the flow here. All that's happening is I have those four questions. Each of those questions is going, in, going to my my basic LLM, which is this answer chain, right? So that's this thing. So each question is getting plumbed into this. Here's a good example, right? Right here, we plumb in a question, we get an answer out. It's just doing that behind the scenes. So we take those four questions, we plumb them in, we get answers out. For every one of those answers out, I go to that data set, I fetch the ground truth answer. Again, we can see them here, right? Look, here's one of our inputs. So this input gets plumbed into our LLM and we have this ground truth output. That's it. So let's go back. Hopefully that ran. It ran. Now here's where I do. I go to my data set. I look at tests. 
Now I'm gonna move my little head here. So now I have a test. You see this prefix that we added? Uh, it is now right this this thing right here. We can see you know our name has that prefix in it. We can see some metrics here: latency p99, uh, p50 p99. Um, and we can see things like error rate. We can see our metric and so forth. So let's actually just dive in here. So this is where you can really have a lot of fun and do a lot of kind of inspection of your results. So here's what's going on. The input here is the question that I plumbed in, right? Go back to our flow. The input is this thing. It's just my question. All right. The reference output, go back to the flow, is this thing. It's just basically the correct answer. Okay. So I have the input question. I have the reference output. Now here's what my model returned. So this is what we're assessing. We're assessing this reference versus what I, what I returned using that COTQA evaluator. So behind the scenes, uh, let's actually dig into that. So there's two things I can click on here. This open run thing opens up just my chain. Okay. So this is my chain, um, again, which we defined up here. So it's this answer question with open AI thing. So that's just this running on our input. There's all the context. And here's the question that got plumbed in. Here's the answer. So if I kind of go back, um, that's what that run is. That's all that's happening there. Now I might want to know, well, what did this great, how did this greater work? What actually happened there? So if I click on this little arrow, it'll take me to the evaluator run and that's going to open up right here. So this is the evaluator that we used off the shelf. We didn't have to write this or anything. We can actually go, we can see we're using OpenAI as the evaluator, which is fine. And here's actually the prompt. This is very useful. Your teacher bringing a quiz, blah, blah, blah. It gives you a bunch of uh, criteria. Um, okay, so basically uh, what's happening is this is the greater prompt and you're seeing the question and the context and the student answer. So the context gives you the ground truth answer. The student answer is what the model returned. And then here's the output. Here's like the reasoning and here's the score. So this is really nice. You can audit the grader really easily. So if I go back, let's zoom all the way back out. What's going on here? I define a data set. My inputs are here. My reference outputs are here. My LN generations are here. My scores are all listed, one or zero in this case. And I can dig into each one and understand what the evaluator did. I can also dig into my generations using this open run to see how they work. So if I zoom all the way back out the stack, what are we doing here? We're doing evaluation against our data set with a built-in lens, lens with the evaluator. Um, this was the information flow. And if I go all the way down, what do we just do? We had our data set of uh, Databricks examples, questions, four of them. We used LM as a judge using a built-in line chain evaluator against those ground truth answers that we provided in our data set. And we basically just did a, an LLM evaluation. That's it. So we're going to be kind of building on this in the next video. Thanks.